Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp Square One, where we take a look at the basics of using SketchUp. Today we're going to talk about the Soften and Smooth Edges window. So, hiding, softening, smoothing, um, we actually, I'll link to another video that goes into more depth on how all that works. We really want to see how the window plays in that. So we'll do a quick primer on what soft, soft and smooth are, what the two of them are, how they work. Um, but really we want to look at how to use that window right there to go in and get the uh, soft and smooth. And when you use that versus using the entity window to, uh, you know, smooth your edges out. Let's hop in. Okay, so uh, I created, this is just an eight-sided polygon. I just push pulled it up in the space so we have a couple of, uh, so a piece of geometry we can work with as we do this. So a lot of times when people see things get smooth, it's with the eraser tool. So if I was to go grab the eraser and I hold down a modifier key, so on Mac, this is gonna be an option, this is control on Windows, hold down that. Uh, I can see I'm in 2020.1, so I get the little modifier uh, cursor on there. So it tells me it's gonna soften smooth. If I drag across these lines and release, they end up getting softened and smoothed. Um, let's undo, I'm gonna hit Command Z. Let's go select this piece right here. And just real quick, entity info, I have a checkbox for soft and I have a checkbox for smooth. To show real quick what that is, there are two separate things. When I hold on the modifier, can use erase, it does both. When I come in here, I can actually pick one soft. Soft basically makes the line disappear. So this is just a soft, spot. So you can see you get kind of a smooth shadow between the two, but uh, the lines disappearing. If I select this and I just hit smooth, smooth actually smooths the shadow between the two adjacent edges. So you can see right there, the edge is still visible, but look how, see the lights kind of changing hard or harshly between these two surfaces. And right here, it's just kind of blending together like it's one big surface. That's what that is. So if I turn on both soft and smooth, that's when I get a perfectly smooth, there's not a line there, there's not an edge there, and the light is, you know, the shadows are blending across the two surfaces. So that's soft and smooth. Like I said, check down in the description for a, a skill builder that will go through all of that in much more detail. So I'm gonna go back, undo. So if you have a single line or a couple lines you want to, you know, soften and smooth, um, the easiest way is with the eraser key, using that modifier key to, go through and smooth the, the joints out. Where this window comes into play, the soft and smooth edges window comes into play is if you have a whole bunch of geometry you wanna clean up at once. So what I mean by that is say, say all of this, I wanna grab all of this and smooth all the edges out at once, this is how I'm gonna do it. So something to note about this window is you can turn this on if you're on Mac, you can go to window and turn on soft and edges I believe it is part of the default toolbar or default tab bar in Mac, but you can also bring it up. So if it's it's not on your screen or it's not up, if you right click on selected geometry, you can hit soften smooth edges and that will pop that up if it's not already on your screen. I already had it here, so nothing, nothing happened there. Okay, so I have an option here. So there's this slider. This slider is not activated unless these checkboxes are turned on. So let's go through them one at a time. So if I grab all of this geometry, I say smooth normals, only smooth normals, and I start doing this, this is what I get. So if I say just soften coplanar, here's what I get there. So just like soften smooth, the same, th same things we just looked at in the entity info, but what this does is it does it for all the selected geometry, and it does it based on this angle we set with the slider. So for the duration here, I'm just gonna turn both of them on and let soften and smooth happen together. Um, but know that you can do it separately if you want. Okay, so now, this is an interesting thing that happens. So I'm gonna select geometry, I have all this geometry selected. As soon as I touch the slider, it looks like it deselects. It is actually still active, but it turns the blue off because you can't really see the effect of soft and smoothing if this is turned on. So what's gonna happen, this is normal, I'm gonna select, and as soon as I start sliding, it's all gonna look like it's deselected, but if I slide enough, I'll see that I'm still affecting geometry. 
Okay, so as I drag along here, you'll notice as soon as I hit boom, 45 degrees, all the side edges disappear. If I keep dragging, once I hit 90, the tops disappear. So what exactly is this doing? This is, this is softening any connecting edges that I have selected where the angle between the normals of the two edges is equal to or less than this amount. That's clear, right? Okay, so what are we talking about when we talk about normals? So if I look at these two faces, just these two faces, what are they meeting at? So if I go up to tools and I turn on protractor, I'm gonna click in the middle, click to one, bring my line around to the other. And if you look down the lower right corner here, it tells me that that's 135 degrees. So why did my line disappear between these two? Why did it get smoothened at 45 degrees? Well, it's not the angle between the two faces, it's the angle between the normals. So what that means, a normal is a line that comes out at 45 or at 90 degrees to the face. So this right here, if I draw a line back like that, that line is normal to this face. I'll draw another line right from the middle here. Again, normal means perpendicular to the face. That's that line right there. So this is the angle that Soft and Smooth is looking at. So if we go back to Tools Protractor, click right here, click here, bring it over to here, and see down in the lower right corner, the angle is 45 degrees. So that's the angle between these two that this is looking at, not the actual exterior angle of the two faces at the intersection, but the angle between the normals. So that's why when I grab all of this, as I come up, as soon as it hits 45, that outside edge gets smoothed because they're all meeting each other at 45. This one right here, th these edges right here are much easier, right? So where this edge meets this edge, well, a line normal to this would be straight up a line normal to this face right here would be straight out. And that's, I mean, I have to check it, that's 90 degrees. So two faces that meet at 90 degrees also have normals at 90 degrees. So that's why when, again, I start dragging this up, 45, the sides disappear. And once I get all the way up to 90, boom, the whole thing gets softened and smooth. So some of these windows are a little more complex than others. This one's fairly straightforward, but what I really want to touch on there is what does that slider mean? A lot of, I mean, people who've been using SketchUp for years don't actually think about what it means. They just know as they drag it up, stuff starts disappearing, getting smooth. That's what it actually means. It's those, the normals of the, of the faces at the edges. The other thing to think about is when to use that. You can be more selective. I grabbed the whole shape and use soft and smooth, but if I wanted to just smooth a portion of it, uh, say I wanted to keep the line on the bottom or something like that, I wouldn't have to select that. Soft and smooth, that, that window is something you use when you have a bunch of geometry you want to soften and smooth, smooth. You want to soften and make smooth all at once. I, soften and smooth is the name of it, so I tried to make that into a verb, soften and smoothen. Anyhow, uh, hopefully that gave you the idea of how to use it, when to use it, where to use it. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos each and every week, and you'll be notified of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, please leave us a comment down below. Do you use that window ever? What tool would you like to see us dive into next on Square One? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.